Hello everyone, welcome to Electric Vehicles and this is Pavan. Pavan Kumar. Currently, I am here at Bigos showroom which is located at Gachbali, Hyderabad. In this video, I am going to do a test ride for Bigos D15 Pro electric scooter. So, before going to dive in, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the videos. This brand new Bigos D15 Pro electric scooter comes with metal body and 16 inch alloy wheels equipped with drum brakes. It has an extraordinary ground clearance of 175 mm and a wheelbase of 12.6 mm. Talking about the suspension, company has used telescopic suspension at front and three steps adjustable dual coil spring suspension at rear. That means you can adjust the rear suspension according to your comfort. That's so cool, right? The battery used in this vehicle is lithium ion battery, which is having a capacity of 3.2 kilowatt hours and it consists of 21,700 lithium ion cells. Now I will show you the battery pack. So this is our battery pack, here the battery pack they have used is a portable one and it is also removable which is IP67 rated also. Talking about the motor, the motor used in this vehicle is PMS hub motor that means permanent magnetic synchronous motor which is having a capacity of 3100 watts and generates 110 nm of torque which results in a top speed of 60 km per hour. The battery used in this vehicle is placed inside the boot space that means you will never get uh, any additional boot space to keep your stuff. Be it in eco mode or sport mode, this vehicle can attain 0 to 40 km per hour speed in just 7 seconds. Moving on to the charging part, this vehicle takes 4 hours from 0 to 80 percent and 5 hours 30 minutes to charge this vehicle from 0 to 100 percent. And I'm very excited to tell you that this Bigos D15 Pro electric scooter comes with rollover sensor. Rollover sensor is in an inbuilt system where it can stop accelerating the vehicle when the vehicle is in rollover condition. That means this rollover sensor isolates the powertrain trigger and it will resume the acceleration only when the vehicle comes to normal position. That sounds interesting, right? In terms of looks, in my point of view, uh, this Bigos D15 Pro is not so stylish when compared with other electric vehicles that are available in the market. That's completely my opinion. What's your thought on this? Please let us know in the comment section. With 115 plus kilometers of range, we can say goodbye to the range anxiety and this range is ARAA certified range. Now I'm going to start the test ride and I will tell you further details in the test ride. This vehicle is not having any keyless entry, it is having only one key that is physical one so we need to put this here and we need to turn it on and the display will looks like this after switching on this vehicle on my left hand it is uh, having a battery indicator uh, which is in the form of uh, bars only and this is a uh, kilometers indicator and now uh, we are in uh, neutral gate that is what it's showing here this is odometer this is trip meter and this is range indicator this vehicle is having two modes first one is echo mode and uh, second one is sport mode these are the two modes and this is light switch this is ignition switch and this is a high beam and low beam switch it is indicator switch this is the horn switch so now i'm going to start the test right now i'm in neutral gear for extra air safety this vehicle is having side sensor that means if you don't pick up the stand this vehicle won't run so you have to pick it up then only it will switch to echo mode now we are in echo mode now i'm going to start this vehicle These are rear view mirrors, now they are in portrait. Now I will switch it to uh, landscape mode. So this is how it looks. This vehicle is having linear acceleration. Now I am in 26-27 km per hour speed. Now I just want to make a left turn. So I am switching on uh, blinkers, left indicators. As it is having no sound, so that can be considered as a minus thing. Some people used to forget that uh, they have switched on the indicator. So uh, for that people, it's uh, very important to have some sound when they have uh, switched on the blinkers. Now we are on plain road. That means we don't have any obstacles. So it is having a top speed of 48 km per hour in echo mode now i'm switching to sport mode now we are in sport mode in traffic condition brakes plays a crucial role now i'm going to test the brakes yes brakes are uh, working fine working good 
As I already told you, this vehicle is having a capacity to attain 0 to 40 km per hour speed in 7 seconds. So now I will stop this vehicle and I will test that whether it is attaining 0 to 40 km per speed in 7 seconds or not. Forty kmph speed. Forty kmph. Now I am going to make a U-turn. Now I am in Echo mode and I have already achieved 62 km per hour speed. Our company is saying that it is having a top speed of 60 kmph but it is going beyond that also. We have already reached 62 km per hour. I have asked the pillion also about the comfort of this vehicle and he is saying yeah it's fine. This vehicle is having ample amount of seating capacity that means it's enough for two people it's almost 770 mm. For this vehicle here uh, we are having some space here so that we can place our uh, wallets, mobiles and other stuff here. about the payload for this vehicle this vehicle is having a payload of 150 kgs and a water wading capacity of 250 mm that means when you are traveling flood also uh, the battery or the motor will not be affected so that is the best part well coming to the most important segment that is features this vehicle is having features like anti theft alarm reverse mode combi braking system geo sensing riding statistics it can connect with the phone via a mobile app and also it is having gps real time diagnostics and many more This vehicle is having ample amount of food space but I don't think we can keep uh, water bubbles and cylinders in this food space Guys, now we have tested this vehicle in forward mode. This vehicle is also having reverse mode. Now I'm going to test that. So in order to enter into reverse mode, we have to press the brake and we have to press the ignition button. Now we have entered into reverse gear. So I will test the speed of this vehicle in reverse mode now. Yes, it is having a 4 km per hour speed in reverse mode that's more than enough when you are parking it will be helpful to you while you are going back it will give you a signal that the vehicle is moving back side so in order to switch from reverse mode to forward mode we need to press the brake and just we need to uh, tap this button once that's all now we have entered into forward mode and if you are our subscriber you will get some discount on this vehicle and that's all for now guys that's all about bigos d15 pro test ride review and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and family members for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the videos go green go electric